Hello, dear children. Hope you are enjoying your stay at home and keeping safe. I'm sure you have completed the assignment I had given you. You surely must have enjoyed the activity. In our last lesson, we discussed the life cycle of animals who give birth to their young ones, who look very much, though not exactly like their parents. We will now continue with the life cycle of animals. Look at this picture. You must have seen this bird for sure. The hen does not give birth to its young. In fact, it lays eggs. No bird gives birth to a live young one. Birds form an egg covered with a protective shell. They then incubate it outside their body. Incubation is also called hatching. You must be wondering what the word incubation or hatching means. Incubation is the period wherein the mother or father take turns sitting on the eggs to keep them warm. This warmth helps the eggs to form a live baby bird. After a few days, the baby inside breaks open the egg shell using its beak and makes its entry into the world. The birds do have some similarities between the adult bird and the young ones. They do not look exactly same though. Take a look here. Here is the egg. It later forms an embryo. Can you see the baby chick inside? The baby chick grows up and forms a strong beak. It breaks open the egg using its beak. And here is the chick. The chick keeps growing up to become like its parent. And the parent again lays eggs and the life cycle of the hen continues. I want you to pay keen attention to the picture on your screen. Can you see the worm? And look at this beautiful tiger butterfly. The worm you see here is actually the early stage of the beautiful butterfly. Difficult to believe. Have a look at this. The butterfly first lays an egg on the rui or the milkweed leaf. In about a week's time, the larva emerges from the egg. This is also called the caterpillar. On emerging from the egg, the hungry caterpillar eats up the leaf on which it lay once in the form of an egg. This makes its growth rapid. The growth is so rapid that its own skin starts opening up. It's like our own clothes getting tighter as we grow or put on weight. Under the old skin, a new loose skin begins to form, making the caterpillar drop its old skin. This process is called molting. The molting happens four times. It takes about 10 to 12 days for this. The adult butterfly has six long legs and four beautiful wings. For each type of butterfly, the type of plants on whose leaves its female will lay eggs is fixed and different. The time the larva take to emerge from the egg is different for different types of butterflies. There is a great variety in caterpillars. Different types of caterpillars are of different colors. Their body is long. Many types of caterpillars are hairy. Take a look at this video from National Geographic. It's about the stages in the life of a tiger butterfly. I just explained.
What did we learn, children? We learned about the life cycle of a hen. The hen sits on its egg to hatch them. We learned about the stages of life of a butterfly. The four stages of a butterfly passes through our egg, larva or caterpillar, pupa or chrysalis, adult. The adult butterfly has six long legs and four attractive wings. I want you to continue learning more by doing the activity given here. Draw a neat and well-labeled diagram of the life cycle of a hen. And two, draw the different stages in the life of the butterfly or metamorphosis. Hope you enjoyed the lesson, children. Happy learning. Goodbye.